Is that a joint? that a joint? Happy Monday, traders. Welcome to episode 123. Love that number. A tea with me, Mitch Ray. You could be doing anything. You choose to hang out with me and do technical analysis. Very grateful. All right. Uh, big one over the night. Uh, broke back down into that bear flag. But, uh, you know, we have new sets of data, new swing highs. So I uh, went back to the drawing board and just, you know, was messing around. And so I found uh, three touch points. One, two, and three. It's a good way we found our wedges at the beginning, our rising wedge. And yeah, man, uh, back inside that flag, you know, with the angle one and two like that. So um, market was holding it for a moment, but we uh, bounced off the horizontal line support, look left from uh, September 14th. 
uh, holding right now, but you know, not really doing anything. Wicking off the heart line of the little flag we're in, also uh, wicking off of the 200 MA, below the two, uh, the 20 MA, still above the 50 MA, all right? So uh, volume picked up a little bit on this breakdown. Not much though. And uh, I got rid of my fibs from the swing high to swing low, so no one's confused. And so we just did the swing low to swing high to see how far we're retracing from our major swing low. And we have not even hit the 382 yet. You know, now we did with the wick, crazy weekend volatility crap. Uh, but look, we're, we're still above it, okay? Low to high, not even 38% of the way. So really not that alarming, you know? 50% retrace would put us at 6484, and if we went any lower to the 618, we'd be at 6400, all right? So um, that's really kind of the new developments I see on Bitcoin. Still have that 7050 uh, plotted in case we broke to the upside from a bull pull bull flag, maybe, uh, but Either way, maybe we have a new pattern that has developed. Looks quite valid with the touch points and all, right? So, the sending broadening wedges are not bullish. They can be. Uh, they can act as a reversal pattern, sure. But uh, let's break out of it on extremely high levels of volume. That's the only way I'm going to like it. Okay, but other than that, it just looks like another form of bearish consolidation. Just like a bear flag. It's just two upsloping, diverging trend lines, all right? Okay. Let's take a look at chat. And remember, where do where did we get rejected seven times, six, seven times? Does anyone remember? We got rid of it. We can refib it right now. The 50% retrace. We did not have one candle body close above that 50% retrace. Charles Dow will be dancing and singing. All right. So we reversed our price action at the 50% retrace. Now we broke down. And let's somehow try to pivot and find support looking left. When it was once, remember there were overhead resistance. This is what it is. We'll see if we can use that as support multiple times, reject it, and then break to the upside on large amounts of volume. That's what I would I would like to see. Okay, there you go. So, Miss Taxi Driver, Coffee Crew, and y'all do a uh, bear with me. Sleep was tough. I did not get very good sleep last night. All right, so I'm kind of struggling today. So please, just uh, you know, be patient with me. All right. Aeon, all right. My allergies have been like really bothering me too, like bad. So Mr. Cool Daddy, Carver Crypto, Irwin Coffee, the only thing keeping me alive today, my God, man. I actually have a mega cup. This cup is like, you know, the state of Alabama, with all the cities and stuff, really, really cool cup. But it's like, look, the size of my face, it's like two cups of coffee, man. I did that today. Got that rolling, man. All right. So about Coach K, the Ultra Instinct Jesus Man, Paris. Third Eye Trader, Greg Morgan, Mr. Magoog. Sub Crypto Kiwi, it's rare seeing you on Twitch. Glad you're there. Hello, Phil Centura. I think he's also in Straya. Crypto Marcius. Uh, Crypto Marcius, I believe you now have an axe. Congratulations. Also hooked to uh, Timeless Being up with a, an axe as well, or a mod status, whatever you want to call it. Hello, Jurgen, Bones420, the Iowa Jesus Man. Say hello to Melissa. Hello, Emma. Caldeer. Hey. What's up? So, uh, Christopher Harris says he's high. Hopefully you're high on crypto. All right, man. Hello, Roberto Santiago. Hola. Johnny Crypto Knight. Hello. He's saying the Bitcoin will break out on stream. Hey, I'd love to see it, man. I love your optimism. All right. I'll just say it. I'll go that far. All right. What's up, Magic the Krakening? The YOLO. Meme Master, the Meme Magic Man, all right? Shake and Bake or something. Arthur Beeswax, Arkhead Man, what's up, dude? Ali G, respect for. Hold on a sec. Okay, the XRP to BTC is almost identical. I mean, it's like almost like literally identical to the US dollar chart, right? It's like it did everything, the exact same things. The exact same pennant, the exact same little breakout, the exact same fibit area that it's at right now. Crazy. So about Jeremy Ragsdale coming in, Romania time, awesome, dude. X Factor Jesus, man. So about Josh B, LAG, a certain crypto, all right. 
Got it. Hello, Julia. Let's just go ahead and play the Jesus challenge with the Jesus peoples. Pay respects. Awesome. All right. Good to see you again, Julia. Hello, AS. Prada Guitarist, what's up, man? The song grew on you. Now, you, when you hear it, you feel profits. Excellent, man. Excellent. What's up, about Jub and Man? Rolando, two times. Hi. Tasty Toast, that sounds wonderful, man. Maybe I should get some toast, man. What's up, about Zachary Schneider, dude? Patriotic Jesus, man. Hey, MK, man. What's up, dude? Hey, uh, Prodigal Tarsh, man, thanks for making the trek over to Twitch. I'm sure that the lighting, it gotcha, man. It freaking gotcha. Oh, Larley, man, you feel the animals, dude. Now you're going to start reminding me of the, the old guy off of Home Alone in the movies, right? Because he's like, keep a change, you feel the animals, man. What's up, uh, J-Rock, Era Era, Andrew P. Boogers got, oh yeah, Boogers. Preserve capital today in this down day. Excellent, okay, excellent, man. Always happy to hear that, dude. What's up, Bradford, man? Uh, Jai L, almost through chat, all right? Well, we're getting, I'm doing this the best I can. If you get mad at me for not seeing or not engaging, cause I'm sorry, okay? There's just, it's too much chat, all right? God, so much chat. What's up, B-dubs? Man, y'all asking about some jinkity jankity freaking cryptos that no one cares about. That no one's cared about for a long time, alright? But yeah, we can look at uh, in cash. So Franklin A, dude, good to see you, man, as always. It's been a minute, I think. Up Tim A, dude. Gurney. Rasmus, hello. It is a big cup. I know, Franklin, man. I need it. I need it today. It's 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 not easy. Okay, not easy. Christopher Campbell, hello. Crypto Yeti, man. Yetis are in crypto. The future is here. We're good. We got this. So, Spider Ming. Oh my God, y'all! Please don't get mad at me for engaging with y'all too much. I know. It's just too too much. I just hate not saying hello to as many people as I can. Hello, Blockchain Bandit. But you don't understand, man. It's in cash. <laughs> That's right, Greg, man. That's right. All right, dude. Bitcoin possibly forming an ascending broadening wedge, which is not necessarily great. All right, just another form of bearish consolidation after a huge breakdown, running to the 50% retrace from your swing out of swing low and getting rejected six to seven times. Broke down, but still okay. Still okay, because we know we have, you know, from the major swing low, to the swing is highest. We have not even retraced 38% of the way. All right, so uh, you want to hold this. Lou was pointing this out. It's a really strong support that you do not, and it makes sense. It's the overhead resistance. It's now going to be the underhead support. So don't fall below that, or you might be screwed. All right, because that puts you probably below the 50 MA, and then you're going to be at the 50% retrace at 64.84. So, okay, man. Let's go to Ethereum. Okay, man, had to pin it. Broke out bearishly. Oh, man, just like Ripple. All right, just like Ripple. We'll get to that in a second, all right? But, uh, you know, it was the measured move. I don't know. We're probably pretty close. 2160 measured move. No, probably not, but okay. 2160 was the real measured move of this little pennant. So towards the bottom of the channel, which really isn't uh, that big of a deal. All right, man. So you're below the heart line, below the 20, and you just look what happened again. This happens over and over and over. We said all the time. You get to the 200 MA, and it's time to crap out. So below uh, 20 and 200, and above the 50, just like Bitcoin, and you got support. That you're holding right now, believe it or not, look left back from September 7th. 
Might not hold up very well, especially if Bitcoin breaks down. If you if you can hold that, then you come all the way down right here. All right, uh, 230 is support, and also 224. Don't really want to fall below those, right? So uh, that's it. Still, like you know, what do you want, man? I had to break out of a really nice little falling wedge. Well, larger falling wedge. I mean, it's just a medium-sized falling wedge. It started back in late June. Touched my one, two, three, four, five breakout. Breakout on elevated levels of volume. Still holding outside of it. So looking good. Looking fine. Not really a big deal. Okay, that we broke out of a little pennant to the two, the 200 MA. It happens. You're not going to just go straight up to targets. Our targets were we were looking anywhere between. I mean. Between 298 and 380, all right? That's just the, the zone, the retrace zone that is common that we look for from major swing highs. The major swing high, in my opinion, would be up at uh, the July 18th high, okay? All the way down to, to the uh, September 11th uh, low, all right? So looking for this range, it's going to take time to get there. Why? Well, if you've been in a pattern since late June, it's not going to... You know, you're not going to hit targets breaking out of it overnight. It's going to take maybe a week or two or maybe even more, okay? So you just got to be mindful of that and understand that we did have bearish divergence on both oscillators, and this is just more so that playing out, all right? Not really that big of a deal. Great. Okay, man, that's Ethereum. We'll see if we can keep this thing rolling. Hey, you know, what you want to say is, hey, who cares about anything as long as we stay within the parameters of this upsloping channel we're in, right? We'll stay in it and be Kangs all the way up to targets. That would be fantastic. All right, let's go to Ripple. That's not Ripple. That's Ripple to the US dollar dollar. That doesn't exist yet. Maybe one day. Okay. There you go, man. Pin it. There it is. Finally, it took its sweet time, did it not? The price contraction breakout, okay? Measure move to the downside. Oh, we didn't plot it. We can just do it real quick. Doesn't really matter. 14.4 cents from the breakout. That puts you like right at the 50 MA, right at the top trend line that we broke out of that channel that extends back to uh, February. Crazy, man. So uh, according to the measure principle that <clears throat> the selling may not be done. Okay. And, you know, look what you're doing. You break down and then you just have this slight up sloping price movement look what we're doing with our fibonacci 50 percent retrace this this fib note right now is being used as a strong uh, resistance okay very very strong so you know when we at once we at one time we had it as support we broke the upside no demand up here okay so then we crapped out rejected 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 and now we're down using as resistance and very well could break down again uh, especially according to any if we're going to make any attempt to make the measure move of this little pennant which seems pretty well established over the weekend uh, again 42 cents could be a target because that that's not even like that crazy because i mean dude seriously we broke out of this channel from february okay broke out measure move and that are pretty much confluent with each other so we could see lower prices if the measured rule means anything, okay, but you just better uh, hope for Bitcoin to be kings, all right, to break to the upside at some point soon. All right, that's it, man. That's all that rip the big three have done, okay. There's your your daily update on them, all right. The ones that really matter. Now everything else matters, of course. We're here to make money and stuff, but you know, they're the three largest market cap coins, so it it means something a little bit more, all right. Hope that helps. Anyone? Yeah? Maybe not? Thanks so much for the uh, 221 people tuned in between Twitch and YouTube right now. Really appreciate y'all, okay? What's up, uh, Nate? Nated Crypto? Is it Nated Crypto? Thanks for, uh, you said your second time watching. Well, I really appreciate you uh, tuning in again, man. Give me another shot to... Just uh, do my thing, man, all right? Thanks, dude. What's up, Lord Dumbington, man? What's up, my mood? Danny Duckworth, hello? God. Y'all want these... 
Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can look at ARN. Looks like a nice little double bottom. Just getting through the chat. I'm trying to keep it balanced so like it doesn't get too bad. Cause if I like keep going, then like I'll miss so much chat. All right. <sighs> What's up, to Jesus man? Welcome, dude. Glad you're here as always. Blessings to you. Hello, Emmy Mason. Welcome. Yeah, this Monday has been less tragic than most. Yeah. Not sure Bitcoin's going to be Kang's. <laughs> That's right. Always help. Thank you, Emmy. I really appreciate that. Did anyone uh, research the list of, of available commands for the light system? I don't know. I can like show y'all what it looks like real quick. I'll see here. Let's go to like settings. I don't know if it's going to show the commands though. There's like chat settings. Interactives, no, it's not it. Ugh. Hot key settings, that's not it, is it? Yeah, it's not really showing me uh, everything. Hue settings. I guess I can show you this, All right? Just like. I mean, this is what it looks like. This is like the app I use for Illumia for the lighting uh, settings, right? So I don't even know what this stuff means, right? So I mean, I have the ability to create variations too. So like, I just, if y'all want to research it more, I can like add more. I can like have li I have limitless power with this uh, Lumia bot. So um, you know, whatever you want me to do, I will do it as long as you like. Just do a little lead work on it and show me what to do or tell me what to do there's just so much customization involved with this all right so that's it man that's uh if you want to change the lighting go over to twitch that's how you do it all right that's how this lighting's changing i'm not doing it the viewers are doing it all right it's another form of interaction for you wonderful people all right Click this. Looking at this, man, beating down, dude, beating down, like crazy. We don't know what to do here. I'm not even certain if we would even want to. Oh man, that's that's pretty nice right there. Wow. Holy crap, that's really nice actually. Um, really just looking at it like this. Uh, touch points on the bottom, touch points at the top, right? Stemming back to like March. And you can see it bouncing off of it, bouncing off of it, making higher lows now. That's really good to see. We're starting to break through that 25% uh, trend line that's been respected so well. Uh, look how we bounced off here using the heart line as a resistance, support, resistance. Man, that's, that's a nice uh, looking interpretation of this little channel right and if we zoom in see what we're kind of doing right now kind of looks like uh, just a channel like you know the standard like all these coins are doing like the exact same thing are they not they're like just okay man we had huge huge breakdowns and now we're gonna start slightly up sloping and create a channel 
right? I mean, they're just all doing it, so I don't really know what you want, all right? Um, you see here, look, look what's going on up here. The same type of stuff, right? Just, like, same stuff. Just upslope, like, huge breakdown, upsloping contraction, or, you know, consolidation, excuse me, and then breakdown, doing the same type of stuff again, all right? So... It's a very, very well-established bear trend that's been going on on Aeon for a long time, all right? If it was... Is that a joint? Can you please look at WTC? Escondalo. Escondalo. Thanks for the void joint, man. Yeah, dude. Let's go to Walton Coin, all right, man? Walton Coin it is. Oh, huh. okay. So it looks like we found some support at the 1618, right? And have not fallen below that. Man, we were close. So, yeah. I don't know. On this chart, this is the lowest you've ever been. All-time lows on Aeon. Okay, so. Pattern-wise, I don't really see much of a pattern going on right now. All I see are higher lows. And you are breaking that downsloping trend line though right it's been so respected you are breaking it right now can we take a look at the chain doing things when you have time please Mitch thanks for being an alert app by the way I'll get the clips. appreciate all the time and effort you put in for the people in this community thank you hey thanks Julia for the 1618 really do appreciate the golden mean ratio contribution there you go, lady. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Seriously. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely look at it uh, right after Walton Coin. Thank you. Okay, so what are we doing? Okay, Fibonacci from a swing high to a swing low. We've run up. We're double topping. Not only at the 382, but also the 200 MA. All right. I don't know. Some can make the argument that we, well, we tried to have a some sort of ascending triangle of some sort, but that didn't work out. Man. Almost just looks like a... This looks like a channel within a channel, right? I mean, that's pretty much what it is right now. Okay, so whatever, man. Is that a joint? Who are you and what are you doing using my name? While you're at it, Neo USD, please. Thanks. Hey, uh, Mitch Ray, thanks for the two dollar, four dollars and twenty cents. Is that a joint? Hey, man. I don't know, man. I'm sorry, I stole your name, dude. It was okay. It was an okay name. All right. wasn't too bad at all. All right. So, thanks, man. Thanks, man. I know you do. I know you. So what, you could run up uh, as high as 53, 57 cents, okay? And it, the heart line's gonna be at the 618 if you're asking about Aeon, okay, the 618. And you remember, this is all dependent on Bitcoin, okay? Very, very dependent on Bitcoin. When all in on TLRY Don't scare me. Get destroyed, Kappa. TLRY, please. Prob dangerous to short of these levels. Dude, you're like literally playing with fire doing anything with that kind of fall. I don't know. It's just, it's crazy, man. That's crazy. Well, uh, we'll take a look at it. Did it go past, I know it went past the 618. Remember we talked about the 786 being much lower? Uh, we'll, we'll look at it after Neo, okay, man? Thanks, HG, for the uh, 318 to Jesus, man. Really appreciate that. So, uh, you know, I think it's good that you made a higher low than your previous low. But you are struggling. At these areas, nice. Uh, there's a nice elevation, a volume spike going on, a volume spike going on, breaking out of the bottom section of our fib channel tool. All right, so again, targets 53, 57, possibly 63 cents. And this is all dependent on Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Remember, when you do your analysis of any altcoin, remember you analyze Bitcoin first? Yes, analyze Bitcoin first. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, that worked out, didn't it? <laughs> we haven't looked at this in a while because no one asked about it because it's done. Because it dumped. Good figure, man. Uh, yeah, what is that, man? What is that pattern? Oh, man. I don't know, dude. I don't know. An ascending broadening wedge. A really, really steep one. Get destroyed. All right. They act just like rising wedges. They're bearish. I don't know, man. I just look at it like... Uh, just went one and two and three and four, okay? I think that, you know, you had this crazy pump, this crazy dump, then things started normalizing, the volume tapered off, and yet we've just been within the parameters of this, okay, okay. That's, that's really it. I mean, I guess I could redo this and just make it a, uh, you know. What do you like doing, man? Like, what do we like doing? Like doing our food channel? It's definitely Kangs, man. There you go. Much, much nicer. Oh, man. So close to pivoting there. So, so close. But you, either way, man, you got to really, really love that heart line. Respect throughout. Crazy, man. Crazy types of... Uh, that's how you check your math on these tools. Look at this heart line respect. My God. Okay, and look at the pivot point on the 25% trend line of the channel. All right, well, almost anyway. So since then, man... Uh, well, we fibbed already, right? We had the swing high, the swing low, ran up, hit the 50% retrace twice, pretty much double topped at the 50% retrace. Your your most common area of retrace before reversing your price action, we reverse our price action. What do you even want anymore? <sighs> so would you say is a double bottom? I don't know, man, we're, we're right around that area uh, where you could say maybe possibly double bottom. Better hold here. Better hold here. Um, you do have some nice bullish divergence. Below a technical lower low. Oh my goodness, man. You got all kinds of bullish divergence, dude. All over the place. So you want to look at like, look at this low. This is like the first bottom and this is like your second, third bottom, whatever. And every single time you're making the same low or a lower low, you're making lower levels of negative momentum every single time. This is a great, I mean, look, man. Let's fib this, okay? Get rid of our fibs here because it's not relative to the situation we're looking at anymore. Now let's look at a swing low, swing high. How far have we retraced? Very close to that 786. Huh. And if you look left, some horizontal line support. Very interesting, man. Depending on the market, that's a big if, man. It's a big if. Is that a joint? Hmm. Hey, Mitch. Any movie recommendations with traders slash Wall Street? Post 2008, preferably. Looking for a movie, The Wolf of Wall Street, The Big Short, etc. On a totally different note, I just learned about the Bernie Madoff scam. Wow. I was about to say that one. What is your take uh, on it? Uh, what's my take on it? To want that movie? Uh, um, don't try to commit suicide by taking sleeping pills or something. Doesn't work out, I guess. But uh, I don't know, man. Don't defraud a bunch of people for a long time either. Don't don't do that. Don't be a sociopath. But I don't think you can help it if you're a sociopath. So uh, I don't know. Movies? I'm not. I don't do many movies, man. I'm not really a big movie guy, so I do apologize about that, all right? So, uh, sorry, man. I, I wish I could help, but dude, uh, Elon Musk, thanks for the 420. Either way, man, I really appreciate that. I just don't, I don't have, I just don't, like, have time or don't spend enough time uh, watching movies. I, I finally watched the new Solo movie. I did it, y'all. I actually watched the movie, and uh, I didn't really like it. I didn't really care for it. Is anyone mad? that I didn't care for it, I didn't like it. It didn't seem very Star Wars to me at all. <sighs> I feel kind of like old and sad because of that, but uh, I'd like your thoughts, chat. If you saw Soul, Soul of the Movie, let me know if you're also sad. Larley, MK, did y'all see it? Let me know, all right? Okay, so, uh, you know, man, I don't know, look, just one and two and three and four. Looks pretty good, heart line respect. Like, look, we're just bouncing along, using it as resistance. Pretty nice little heart line. Okay, that's a pretty nice little downsloping channel you got going on. 
uh, with all kinds of bullish divergence at near the 786, looking at horizontal line support. I mean, that's those are some pretty good variables that are coming together. And your volume, look at your volumes like dying off, like you're making lower lows and the volume's like nothing. These are all kind of low risk stuff going on. I mean, this is all kind of like more bullish than bearish, in my opinion. All right. It was terrible. Yeah, it was meh. Why did it make me sad? I don't know, man. It just didn't feel like. I like the, uh, you know, the Kessel stuff, like the. I started paying my five star recruits in Bitcoin, but my assistant just informed me that the blockchain publicly records all transactions. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, you should have done uh, Monero, man. Then you've been better. Okay, go with Monero. And that's probably what Bobby Axelrod used, right? <laughs> to pay people millions of dollars off the books, right? <sighs> Princess Riley loved that movie. I don't know. I just didn't... I just didn't... It wasn't good. It just wasn't my thing. I don't know. Don't know what it was. It's... I can't put my finger on why I didn't really like it that much, okay? Uh, there was little force. There was no, like, Jedi stuff. And I'm really big on Jedi stuff. Bitcoin Jedi. I think you would be too. So we're just kind of like, Bleh. I'm gonna give Episode Nine a shot for one crypto. I'm going. To, I'm going to uh, look. I'll say the, the last Jedi or whatever was way better than Solo. Way better than Solo. Saban knows about Monero. Oh yeah. Yeah right. He's just that good, man. Nah, he's just... He's a, one of a kind. He's a one in tens of millions of people. That's Saban. Okay. Sharp. Epin just wants me to do analysis on a random Forex period. That's not really... I don't really just do random requests, alright? So, I like doing requests to help people. Not really so much to just randomly do coin requests just for the heck of it. All right. Yep, Jedi's and lightsabers. <laughs> yes. Hey, my day's going well, Drew, man. Man, what is up with all these S coins? I remember a time there was just this golden age of streaming where people would never, they just stopped requesting. They just stopped requesting scrub coins. But yet, has not changed it's back it's back again it's like uh what's the bamboozled part two sequel okay sith side for the win uh-oh what's up uh, Isaac Samer man okay let's uh look man that's it that's all I'm talking about we covered Walton coin pretty hard it, it's way better then not, okay? Your oscillators are showing impending price action versus the upside at a critical support, very close to a fib node, the 786, all right? Bounce along the heart line of the downside of the channel, all right. But again, before analyzing anything, you analyze Bitcoin, all right? Okay, here you go, vet to the US dollar tether for Julia, and I'm sure that moon boy's spirit Okay, so, uh, look, man, we had it like this, and, you know, I even said in chat last night, or is in that a Patreon. Going? I don't have time for movies either. Being CEO of so many companies doesn't allow much me time. Anyway, about Bernie Madoff, I find it hard to understand how a seemingly nice and smart guy like him made such a bad and lame Ponzi, and SEC failed to see it. Yeah, uh... <laughs> I heard his coin and thought I should say hello. Hello. I thought it was Polly Wag, Polly World. Polly World, aren't you Polly Wag's secretary or something? <laughs> Whatever it is, man, I can't remember. Thanks, Polly World, for the $3.33. Repeating, of course. Um, and yeah, Elon, man. It's called being a sociopath. Alright, it's where you don't think about or care about other people like at all you just do things to get yourself ahead and 
it hurts a bunch of other people and then that's it so a lot of people there's a high percentage of ceos that are sociopaths look man i don't know if we should use this wig or not like honestly it could very well be the way the market interprets it all right so if you do it like that looking at it on the daily it looks actually pretty good okay you include all of the wick. Either way, it still looks really nice. Okay. And this would hold true for looking at it as a channel or triangle, whatever you want to do. We can easily make this a channel. One, two, three anchor points. It's all up sloping, okay? And it failed to break above the heart line of that channel, all right? So we're just looking at the, uh, the fractal right now. Great. Is that a joint? Um, hello? I mean, even Charlie Lee made the smarter pawns even Bernie. Under the guise of being a US dollar competitor, yet he sold at the top. Oops, who said that? Oh my god, man. Well, hey, what is it, uh, what's the, what's the meme that came out for Charlie recently? It's like, just sell it? Or is it, uh, I can't remember anymore. It's in our memes and stuff on Discord. Remember, you want to partake in all the memes. You want to keep the conversation going when this stream inevitably ends. They always end, but they always start back. New ones, but in the meantime, 5 a.m. when Bitcoin pumps or something, you need information, you want news, you want things, you want to know what's going on. There are people always talking because we have people around the world in our Discord. Uh, check out the description below. So there's a link there, and we also post links to our Discord and chat all the time, all right? So check it out. Whew. XRP retracing 20 cents, that would be bad. Uh, I mean, dude, it's just... It wouldn't be 20 cents. It would be... I think the measure move was, like, down at 42 cents, so that's, like, 10 more cents. So, whatever, right? Oh my god. No, it's killing me. No, it's just killing me. Andre, I'll put it on the list. All right. So that's a way we can interpret it, all right? Um, the way the market might might be interpreting it, all right? So, you know, we could easily break down to lower prices. Could have run all the way down to 1.283 cents. A lower risk area if you, one was to play the triangle. But again, man, like if Bitcoin wants to keep crapping out, this thing's going with it. It could be screwed, all right? Man, not too much support looking left. Not much at all. But, you know, there's not much data on this chart either okay so you do have bullish convergence though uh, low higher low lower levels and negative momentum. that's always good and all standing on the rsi i mean that's that's fine all right pivoting with a higher low for now but again running up to the 236 node as well as the 50 ma and you're wicking off of it yeah wicking off gross huge impulse down retracing probably 51 or 50 to 61.8 percent of the way from a, the miniature swing out of swing low i mean you can use fibs relative to any situation no, no matter how small it is right and that's how it works okay everywhere it's even here <laughs> did you say a poly wag has been around please point me in the right direction i am starting to fomo and might throw a master ball to catch this bastard I feel so good! You're gonna throw a master ball. Ash Ketchum. A, uh... Ladies and gentlemen, have you seen the polywags and the polywogs and the polywhirls? Aren't they a lot? Aren't they, like, a, they're not a very rare Pokemon, right? They're not like that rainbow Pokemon bird that you see in episode one, right? Is that a joint? So let's clear one thing up. You have never watched The Wolf of Wall Street. The Big Short, The Wizard of Lies, Margin Call. I've seen The Wolf of Wall Street for the memes. I've seen The Big Short, okay. But like, if you're asking me about other ones besides the big popular ones, no, I have not seen those, all right? So I have not seen other ones besides the one, because you were asking me like, 
you have not seen these or like I've seen these and you're like do you know any others I'm like no I mean and you're like asking me about post 2008 movies and I'm like whoa because I was going to be like maybe the boiler room or something right that's a good one but if you haven't seen that one you definitely need to check out boiler room it's awesome thunder rolling in man storms are finally dude it feel like it's been a drought you know we had a lot of storms and stuff like in June or July but it's been dry ever since and now the first roll of thunder I've heard in a long long time awesome okay so Owen scum thanks to the 420 man all right thanks dude okay so ascending triangle uh, still in development all right we can look at the daily too like whatever it still looks pretty good on the daily it looks real it looks real <laughs> That's it. One, two, one, two. And uh, look what we did. It sucks because you're getting a bearish engulfing candle too on this daily candle. That sucks. And you fell below the 236. Hey, Joshy Bear. Thanks for the sub on YouTube, man. Really appreciate it. Hey, baby. Okay. <sighs> bearish engulfing candle, so we could see lower prices. The volume kind of picked up too a little bit. All right, but despite anything, you just have like. No negative momentum. You look. You just go in all the way to neutral. Well, I guess you look. When you ran up, you had no positive momentum, and uh, you're breaking down, and you're probably starting to make negative histogram wicks soon. Uh, the next coming days, if this really plays out, okay. Bearish inside bar indecision. Bearish engulfing. Tomorrow we might break down and maybe just maybe hit 1.279 cents down here. Might want to make an augmentation to my uh, trade. The, the setup anyway. What's up, uh, Sharp? IE pin. Thanks, dude. We just talked, man. Thanks, man. <sighs> Hold on a sec. This one changed the lighting. I hate this one. This one's really annoying. I'm setting myself up to get trolled, but uh, I know. Whatever, man. I'm just like tired. I'm like super tired. And I know I look tired too, alright? So classified, man. Of course, it was a, a conflict. It was a joke, man. Bitcoin Jedi. Conflict of interest. That's so stupid. Conflict of interest. Like, that's so dumb. Imagine Elon Musk selling 100% of his holdings of Tesla. How, how great would that be? I mean, I guess he kind of did that, right? Did I like Rogue One? It was okay, because it tied in kind of well to the story. Thanks, Mitch. Much appreciated. Uh, Julia, thanks for the 1618. The golden mean ratio. Uh, I know Chalen should hopefully be done with that soon. I know he's been working hard on it. All right, so uh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Can't wait till we get those maybe golden seashells. I don't know, whatever y'all are working on. Y'all are like Area 51. Is that a joint? Margin call is brilliant. Mitch, have you ever danced naked outside in a thunderstorm? You should try it. Uh, Danny, no, I haven't done, I haven't been naked. But I've been out in a thunderstorm and danced. So does that count? Just not naked. Uh, I should try it though. I do have the privacy and ability to do that now. I've had it, that ability for years, but I just, no one's ever, you know what man? Danny, maybe I should do that after stream today. <laughs> maybe I should just live stream it on Chatterbait. Uh, type one in chat if you want to see me naked, dance in the thunderstorm that's coming. On Chatterbait. Let's hear it, chat, okay? <sighs> Franklin loved uh, Rogue One. It wasn't bad. I really loved the last scene, right? I love how it kind of like all tied in, tied in to episode four. That That's why I liked it a little, like kind of. I didn't complain about it. I don't know. Solo just, it didn't tie into anything. Like, who's Amelia Clark? Who is that? Like, she's not in any of the movies. Is she? No, she's not. She's nobody. 
So I'm just saying, it's kind of weird. All right, let's go to a Neo while we're waiting on the, the pole. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, you had that bearish divergence played out. I had the dump. Yeah, we it, go figure, right? We we talked about this yesterday. Oh, this is not surprising at all. Hey, I like how we pivoted off the 50 MA though. Also pivoted off that 236 Fib note. But you know the problem is we fell. You, know, you see this 25% trend line that's been so well respected as a support and resistance. We fell below that with wicking off right now. Is that a joint? I never sold Tesla stock. Apart from some super part required for tax purposes. I said repeatedly I will be the last man standing if needed. I am going down with the ship. Please join me in shedding a tear. Hey, uh, I know someone who'll be a very, well, someone who's already a rich man, but he'll be a very rich man if uh, the ship goes down, dude. So, kind of, kind of rooting for it to go down. Just for my vicarious nature of uh, seeing that just, everything play out with what I know of who I know so like uh, it'd be fun okay it would be very fun anyway um, 10 tears down for Elon yeah <laughs> okay man so uh, thank you dude Elon for the 420 man my god we have so many we have so many Tesla weeds in the jar right now man the devil's lettuce on Monday Interesting, man. God, I'm so, look, it's like, we're so, getting so close to almost having a uniform tip jar of emoji balls. You see Julia's signature? It's just that, that default emoji ball, man. Julia, I know y'all are going to get it figured out, okay? I know y'all will get it figured out soon, all right? So, I don't know, man. Look, I, I think there is very well a right-angled and ascending broadening formation with three touch points on the bottom and three on the top that is that is a perfectly valid pattern can't argue with that and uh it's just testament to a fixed price at 16 dollars, right around there and the bots just know like look if you can't push this price down anywhere the bots are going to give up trying to sell off and you're going to attempt again okay nope and you shoot up that's just how it works and then when you run up you start showing bearish divergence. You start hitting this some sort of upsloping resistance. And also, not only that, even if you're not using patterns and fractals, if you don't understand, you're not using Bulkowski stuff, you can just be a fib lord, right? From the swing high to swing low to understand, hey, 50% retrace. We're within the retrace zone after a huge impulse down, right? This is it. This is your, this is your zone. And you hit the 50% perfectly. Charles Dow, again, wins. He wins the day, man. He wins. I'm just changing the music, all right? Playing DJ, all right. Good Lord. Go on, man. You were forewarned about this move down uh, yesterday because it's like nothing really surprising. That's This is exactly what happens when you make a, a higher high on price and extremely lower levels of positive momentum and relative strength, all right? So uh, bouncing off the 50 MA and you know, you're kind of finding support at horizontal line areas, right? And that's also the 236, okay, so. Could very well see lower prices if Bitcoin decides it wants to tank. Bitcoin is uh, rejecting the 200 MA, rejecting the heart line of that little flag brand. Okay, so it has not yet hit 382. Thanks, Danny, man. Electric lettuce. What is this? Yeah, I guess so with Tesla. Yeah, well, no, remember what Elon said before in one of the streams. He said that they're now selling. Uh, whatever the models are, the their new cars, their their new tr trucks, whatever, with uh, a bag of weed, <laughs> a big bag of weed, so you get a bonus. They're doing it, man. They're doing it. Yeah, remember if you're enjoying this uh, live stream, hit that like button, that bell, that sub. Thanks so much for the 239 people tuned in between Twitch and YouTube. Really appreciate you. All right. I don't know, there's always something funny someone says in chat, all right? Always. So about uh, LP? Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your local on the eights. 
Let's go to the corn of bits. You know what? Instead of the corn of bits, what we're actually going to do is just go to the quint screen, take a look around the market. Bottom right is Mogli Face, but right next to me is Ripple, Litecoin, Ethereum, and VeChain. Made our adjustment already on this one. Just a minute ago, it didn't save, obviously. So I'm just going to like that. <sighs> All right, man. So, again, with Ripple, we broke out of a pennant. A measure move would put us down around 42 to 43 cents. All right. We're showing rejection at the 50% retrace. You can see that Fib node one, two, three times we failed, unable to do anything after making that uh, larger move down. Guess what? The move down though was on pretty scrub volume. Wasn't very strong at all, which is good. It's always good to see a breakout on low volume, a bearish breakout on low volume if you're bullish, right? So we did it. We could break down again. It seems like with this kind of price action, wouldn't be uh, that surprising. And then. It, Litecoin, something we have not, not covered yet. Uh, we covered it in a couple days. Litecoin, I think, has formed a very nice looking rising wedge. Touch point one and two, three and four, one and two and three on the bottom side. A beautiful looking rising wedge, false breakout of a down sloping channel. Again, go figure. Litecoin is the king of false breakouts of well established channels. Yes. Top left Ethereum, as we discussed, the pennant, we broke out of it. We said the measure move will put us around $216, $217, right? And then a V-chain, you know, we just talked about the ascending triangle. Could very, you know, wicking off the 236 and the 50 MA. Could see lower prices. Uh, maybe there's a low risk play at uh, 1.279 cents, all right? So that's kind of like uh, what we're looking at right there. And then top right of the screen, you know, you got Bitcoin way up there. And uh, yeah, man, we're about to go to that right now. All right. The thunder is getting louder as I think Danny man of maybe going outside and getting naked and dancing. All right. I didn't even get the poll results. So did not get those poll results. <clears throat> about to look at it real quick. All right. I think I missed this, right? Didn't I? I don't know. I missed so much. On oh, okay, here we go. Okay, we got a bunch of ones. Okay, no twos. We have a six nine. One. Lord Dumbledore says two, and Brad says unsub. Get out of here. Uh, Mr. Canatima walked in in awkward timing. <laughs> Beast Slice saying, "Is this real life?" Oh, you're trying to avoid solo spoilers. I mean, whatever. There's nothing to spoil because we know whole Solo doesn't die, right? So what's the spoiler? Okay, we did it, man. We did. It. I was just checking that out. All right, I did not get a chance. What's up, uh, Uncle Tone, man? I have a beautiful beard. How long did it take to grow, man? I don't know, man. Not too long. Is that a joint? Do you think a sociopath can also be a very charismatic, mannered? Caring and socially pleasant person? Somehow Bernie got huge banks and the richest folks to give him all their money. Why would he do a dead in Fonzie? I reckon he must have had an escape plan. I didn't think he had an escape plan, right? I don't know what happened, right? I thought it was just like, nah. He just like did it and it just got worse and worse. Like it started out like really easy. It's like lying, right? This is why you like never want to lie. You want to lie as, you never want to lie. Okay, because when you lie, it starts getting easier and easier to lie. You get used to it, and then all of a sudden, like you're just a compulsive liar. At that point gets too easy, gets completely desensitized to it. So I think it's probably the same thing with crime, with what he was doing, right? You got to have some sense of honor. And do I think sociopaths are have charismatic uh, personalities? I think yeah, yeah, they do. That's the whole point, right? Because their whole point is to manipulate people to. You can't manipulate people by force and being mean and stuff. You, you do it by being gregarious and all that, right? So, of course. Of course. Yeah, the quint, not quad screen. Yeah, exactly, Carver for Crypto Man. John the Bigger. I don't know, man. We broke back down into that flag. And uh, whether we broke back down into the flag, had a false breakout, 
we had a, from a swing out of swing low, we had the 50 percent retrace and broke down. And now I think that we could have one, two, three touch points to make an ascending broadening wedge, which is also a bearish pattern. All right, so uh, you got to like the impulse up, and you got to like the downsloping consolidation. That's really nice. Okay, so holding support, looking left at the old overhead resistance, the under head support now all right what are you going to call it so uh the 382 65 68 if you can't break if you can't hold that decent amount of support here decent amount if you can't hold that you're coming down to 6484 and then after that you're coming down to 6400 and then you're gonna have that bottom trend line you have a lot of support on the way down so i'm uncertain at this point is a is a it's a dead zone okay because again like from that swing high to swing low when you fail to break above the 50 percent six times reverse your price action uh, i don't know man it it's still like we need more data because like if you have an impulse up like this and you're making just common retraces right now this isn't unhealthy this isn't bad but you're starting to form maybe possibly a bearish pattern so a lot there's some contradicting variables here okay volume kind of sucks like really bad so kind of as it should after, you know, an impulse up. Okay, your consolidation should be kind of crappy volume. Uh, but wait till this kind of volume comes in, man. Wait till this volume comes in. This could bring the market to its knees anytime it wanted to. These people, these people that really pull the rug out. Huge rising wedge, huge breakdown. We're looking for that kind of volume to the upside or downside. And we have not seen any volume really like that since that huge volatility spike. And it wasn't even close. All right. That's it, man. What's up, Chalen, man? We were just talking about you, man. <laughs> Katy Perry, yeah? You gonna marry her? You can do that, man, if you want to. Do anything you uh, set your, your mind to, okay? The thunder is getting louder. It's just getting scary, man. It's getting real scary. I live, he lives, what happened? Bernie was the fall guy, uh oh. Philip, I don't know man. TTS was being very naughty this weekend, yeah we had to like uh, completely drown it out sometimes. We had an epic uh, Rocky fight. I think uh, that Moon Boy was put in the hospital. I was too man, we were both hospitalized, getting ready for the new movie maybe sometime down the road we'll see sociopaths are only pleasant to submissive personalities that makes sense oh man prodigal Taurus says he thinks lying actually gets harder over time because you have to keep coming up with lies to cover the lies I guess that's true but I'm saying like not, it's not like, that's not really true. It's like that might be just because that's right. An aspect of what you're saying, it's still, you get like accustomed to lying. So like you would start new lies with other new people, right? Prodigal Tars or something. So I think we can both be right in that capacity, right? Psychopaths display these traits from a young age. You can't just become a sociopath. No, no doubt, LP. No doubt. Oh God, did somebody uh, ban Agent Hux yet? Oh yeah. Thanks, Basanga. Nice one, dude. Basanga. He was the one that laid down the axe. Charts are boring. Let's do a shot. Shot right here. Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Oh, God. <laughs> Anytime, Jonathan Baker. I'm just getting through chat, alright? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm slow today. It's slow freaking day. For me, anyway, alright? <laughs> Lying is so easy. Just do the opposite of the truth to start your journey to become... A true snake oil sa salesman. If I can help, send me bitcoins. Well, there's plenty of that everywhere. Uh, a series of lies can lead to a pathological 
to pathological lying, ugh, which is crazy because uh, the liar actually believes his lie. They'll even pass a wow poly polygraph. That's crazy, man. Real stock uh, coach uh, Roach, man. Yeah, we're always Kangs in here, man. Always. We're Kangs and Jesus peoples, all right. <sighs> Get wrecked your shot glasses. Oh my god, man. My uh, liver just cringed, Bradford. Make us, mock us. That's right, Danny, man. Oh, all these ass coins. We're going to look at uh, Tool Ray after uh, Bitcoin. Yes, we will look at DGB. I'll put it on the list, the long list. Wait a second, I'm trying to remember, did we... Yeah, 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 we did that, we did that, I think. That's right, we did, okay, so, uh, you know what, we looked at, uh, the Quint screen, so we're not gonna look at Ripple or Ethereum, we're just gonna run on to Tilray, because that was a contribution. Uh, hey man, we talked about, uh, what could happen. You fall below that 618, which we closed on Friday below it. And we gap down. We close the day at $99. The 7948 is a 786. We also have a very slight support at $93. Just $6 off where we are now. A lot of rejection. Look at the run up and the rejection at 120.30. Wow. Not good. Lots of indecision and lots of rejection on the bullish side. Could see lower prices. It would make sense. Ninety-three dollars. If you can't hold ninety-three dollars, coming on down to seventy-nine forty-eight, which is the seven eight six. That's it. That's Tilray. Ugh. Tilray, man, very hard, very hard. That's literally what she said. Okay. Shot of Mallard. Is it Malor? Will make my liver hate me. Sixty-seven percent drop from the highs. Excellent. Hey man, it's just teaching. Wally, hopefully, it's just it's like a an education tool. Tilray was an education tool for scrubs, right? For people to get wrecked and not FOMO. My God, don't buy in high risk areas. Man, is it not just like crypto, dude? It's just like crypto. The rain's here. Video gets taken down because this stupid song would be so mad. <sighs> okay, I'm pausing it because I don't even want to risk it. This would be one of those ghetto songs that gets your video taken down. Oh, double bottom, ABC. I gotta redo this, man. It's been a while. We just don't look at this stuff these days. All right, man. Like, hey, there's a reason why. I have to rechart everything today because no one asked about scrub coins. Now all of a sudden everyone wants all these random scrub coins again. <gasps> Give me my scrub coin, man. Give me my scrub coin. Okay, man. If you want your scrub coin, do all we can. <laughs> oh my god. Oh 
Mountain. That's my skill. Oak Mountain High says hi. Tip twenty dollars. Hey Mitch, our administrative board has got together and after fire debates, heated discussions, screaming and fireworks, we unanimously voted that you take a shot. We miss you very much at Oak Mountain High. Love, S. Evers, K. Dudley, M. Epps, P. Furman. What's the last part? Oak Mountain High, man. Uh, dude, I can't take a shot. I have a beer. I can get a beer, dude. That's all I can do, man. I can't. Oh, my God. Do a shot. Okay. If I did a shot every time someone tipped $20, I would, I would already be dead. All right. I just... You see what I'm saying? Dude, thanks so much, uh, Oak Mountain High. For the $20. Freaking love you, man. Thanks so much, dude. Seriously. Uh, very, very much appreciated. I did this, man. And as you can see, touch my one, two, three, and four, and five with heartline respect, like Kang's. Respect to the 25% trend line, like Kang's. Gotta love this. Gotta love that this is just lined up. The sweet spot, we hit it perfectly. Right. So you know we could probably do uh, few extensions. We probably do swing low to swing high and find something there. But I mean, you probably have a better. Uh, you probably have, maybe have I don't know. Few extensions. We could try here. Oh my goodness! Look at that. The one six one eight. Thanks again, Oak Mountain High man. Really do appreciate that, dude. Uh, 1618 and uh, double bottoming really nicely. Holy crap. Kind of like that. And then what do we have going on? We double bottomed. Hmm. Through the daily. Yeah, I can't play that stupid song. Do y'all hear this though? Anybody? Let me know. Oh my goodness. If you looked at the daily. Oh god. So nice, man. The daily bullish. Oh my god. What's going on? That daily bullish divergence. And you kept getting it too. You kept on getting it. Uh, and then of course. Wow, wow, man. I feel bad sometimes. You know, like. You just can't look at all the charts. Let's look, man. <laughs> You made a technical lower candle body close than your previous low, but they were still technically double bottoms at the 1618 Fib extension, and you broke to the upside. And you currently, uh, we broke out of the double bottom. Okay. And we're back testing right now that pinnacle that gives us a discernible double bottom. And a measure move wouldn't be much. Uh, 531 from the breakout. It's like nothing, dude. There's your double bottom, or your, excuse me, your measure move of your double bottom. It's like nothing, but still, um, it doesn't matter. It could still go much higher. It's just a, a small measure move of a small pattern. Okay, whatever. But, um, I mean, you got to be happy about that. You got to be really, really happy about uh, us doing that. And if we wanted to fib, man, the volatility. Do it. Take a shot. Maybe I will DM you nudes if I see you manning up. Capano cap 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 Much love you sexy, sweaty stud. The only way I'll take a shot, and again, I completely understand, if this doesn't happen, it's good for me. The only way I'll take some sort of shot is if we fill the jar up. That's it. There's no other way I'm doing it, all right? Fill the jar up, I'll take a shot. That's fair, because that is like, I'm literally gonna be doing physical damage to my liver on a Monday, a rainy Mary J. J. Blige Monday, okay? And if it doesn't happen, it's okay with me, all right? So that is, that's how we'll do it, okay? That's fair. All right, man, though. Uh, fib wise though thank you uh julia for the 1618 times three now the jesus lady all right thank you fib wise i i hate volatility because as it's as it's discussed 
Volatility can render your fibs useless. What I would think would probably be wise is not regarding this crazy pumpy dump stuff and just use the candle body close to candle body close. Okay, so your candle body to candle body, a 50% retrace puts us at uh, 2297 and the 618 puts us at 2598. All right, and so the common retrace zone, either way, for like that's your major swing high on the daily. So this is your retrace zone for APPC to BTC, 1996 to 2598. That's where you could expect a, a, a retrace with a really nice double bottom, all right? At a 1618 Fib extension with bullish divergence on both oscillators on a very, very significant time scale. Awesome, okay, that's it, man. That would help, so if asked about APC, they're probably not even in here anymore. Oh, okay, man, okay. Mary J. Monday, exactly. <laughs> That's right, Zachary, man. That's right. Dang, man, this sounds so awesome. A fat fingertip. Oh my god, shots fired, dude. Shots freaking fired. In cash, same things, just double bottoming. Uh, double bottoming at the 1414, wonderful. In cash connect, I remember this. This is back when, like, you had uh, Star Wars Worlds. Talking about in cash connect, remember the triangle when we broke out? I don't know why I deleted that, but I'll redo it. Feed me the Illuminati HS chairs. Cirrhosis, oh my god, dude. <sighs> Thanks for that 3338, man. That is, man. Thank you, dude. Okay, so look where we're double bottoming. Double bottoming at the 1414 fib extension. Beautiful. Dude, this is getting crazy out there. It's getting freaking nuts, man. This is it right here. You got to uh, hold on. One and two and a billion, and then just one up here, and you can see the beautiful amount of respect we're getting on that twenty-five percent trend line. We got the heartline respect, heartline respect, 25% respect, man, 75% respect, man, before breaking down, and then finally getting through it. Are you kidding me, dude? Like, whatever. This is the daily time scale. This is significant. And, uh, you know, we're doing the same type of stuff, right? Same stuff. Where you had a bottom, you double bottomed. It was a technical higher candle body close, though. And that was just close enough to some sort of uh, divergence, right? It's, um sort and then here is really telling this low and then you almost have the identical low with extremely higher levels of relative strength that's that's good bullish stuff right there on a significant time scale your volume picking up too down here so uh, double bottom here would be a little bit more uh, significant man a lot more significant you could do the measured move or you could just do fibs or whatever for targets and we have not even broken out yet we have not broken out it's so stupid. When I turn my music on, it starts picking up, and then as soon as I turn my music off, it like shuts off, dude. It's so dumb. Okay, so, uh, volatility. We just saw this. Same crap. I guess we use the wick this time because it's not as crazy. It's, it's still there. So if you fib from a major swing high to swing low, you can run between the 382 and the 618. That's crazy, man, on NCash. And we'd have to break out, though. We'd have to break out, and we're going to have the 236 as a major resistance between the 151 and 202. That's it. 
that is a where we could run to if we decide to break out to the upside of a channel that's extended back all the way to you know really uh, the 16th of april it's been the whole like most of the year you've just been in a downtrend like a scrub all right nice little bottom pretty lower risk area okay looking good i don't know if we just switched up the daily so that's it been live for one hour and 26 minutes remember we're gonna join this live stream hit that like button that bell that sub if you want to see this channel grow you want to see our influence reach a you know more massive audience that's up to you chat i can't do it without you i just show up and do your coin requests your stock requests whatever as many as i can all right sometimes we make jokes we make memes sometimes i drink for your pleasure evidently all right so dusty does not hear it tim a can hear it though so rf dusty are you a little deaf in your right ear or something, man. What's happening? What is happening? What's <sighs> about JF Airplane? Mitch, that hurricane is calling your ass out, bub. Why don't you pop out for five minutes and do your thing? We'd all wait. Ask Chad if we wait. Only live once, bro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Danny man. Let's go get naked, man. So the Guido for a day three days. Sorry if I said that wrong. Thanks, man. Uh, Danny, dude, thanks for the uh, Tron Connect. Remember, you tip 333, three, three, you get a Tron Connect in the jar. Shannon, at some point, we'll just do something with that. We'll make it, like, pulse. We won't make it too crazy. And maybe we'll, like, turn it into Justin Sun's head. It'll be, like, Tron Connect, and then Justin Sun being, like, that stupid photo he has where he's, like... You know that stupid photo? Y'all know that stupid Justin Sun photo. He's, like, sideways, like, eh. Hate it. I hate it. Okay, I'm sorry behind chat. I'm sorry. I'm getting through this. What happened to Lori? Who's Lori? Are you talking about the principal of my high school or something? Gabba? What's up, Voltaire man? I know you, Voltaire man. Y'all are ridiculous, okay? Y'all are freaking ridiculous. IRL ASMR, pretty much Joel, man. We hey, we've done it before. We've done it before in the late, late streams. Okay, very late. <sighs> oh my God, the Chubacabra versus El Mono. Robusio, Tim A, stop scaring me, man. Hello, Melissa, the crypto nurse. We'll be listening. All right, we'll listen well. All right, glad you're here. <laughs> All right, Julia, we'll blame K. Ivy. Holy crap. Sentries liver right over. I say we really turn this channel up and get you a keg in the corner and for $100 you have to do keg stands. You can do what man. You, you can do e -u -e -u -e -u -e -u -e Dude, you talking in freaking Yeti, man. I'm all, I'm not too versed in that yet, alright? Is that a joint? Oh, remember, Crypto Yeti, you can't tip me. If you want the tip jar to fill up, Streamlabs is the, the worst way to do it, right? Because Streamlabs is like... You're filling up a tip jar behind the stream elements jar, which is halfway full. Or if we could fib it, if y'all you, you want to fib it real quick, we can, I guess, right? Is there a Fibonacci out? Swing on. 
Hold on, we're gonna have to move it now. Okay, let me move this up. Yeah, so we're about halfway. Okay, we've uh, filled the jar halfway according to our Fibonacci. As you can clearly see, we're actually yeah right at that 50% retrace on the jar. Do you see the green line? That's it, man. Sweet, dude. Congratulations. We fibbed the jar. Great. daily on a Zcash. God. Oh my, what in the, I don't even want to talk about what that is up there. That's insanity. Good God. This is ridiculous, man. That's stupid too, stupid wit. That won't stop us the Man, that heart line respect's pretty good. So you obviously have a downtrend, right? Downtrend, you're being very close to critical areas of support. Let's look at our fib extensions real quick. One four one four. So we're bouncing. I'm not holding this, not respecting this very well at all, huh? Not at all. Wow. So that's where we bounce. That's why we pivoted right there. That one four one four. Oh, fireworks! My bad. Ugh. All right, but nah. I mean. It doesn't seem like I'll be taking a shot, all right? And I figured so. That was the whole point, okay? Gianluca, Kaja, Kaha. It's Kaha. Thank you so much for the Kaha sub on YouTube. The Kaha Jesus person. <sighs> okay. I'm uncertain if this will even work, all right? If we can try it. Not even worth looking at. All right, so I don't know, man. Zcash, the four hour. I don't think there's any way, other way to do this, right? I mean, like if you look at the daily like that, it just makes no sense any other way, in my opinion. I mean, what you could probably do, all right, just for the sake of. Uh, I know we could include that, right? But watch this. Let's just try this, all right? Let's just try to keep this as simple as possible here, all right? Because that doesn't line up very well at all. Let's just forget everything from the past. Just look at touch point one and two. And then I three on the bottom. That's not, that's really, really nice right there, okay, man? That's beautiful. <sighs> very, very nice. Why in the world, KIV or whoever you are, I don't want to dox you, dude. Thank you so much for the $20. I have no idea why that did not just fall in the jar. That makes no sense, dude. Why does it not work sometimes? I just got the, I just received the payment. What is up with that, dude? Why does that do that? Do you, did you just go through the regular stream elements? I mean, Dude, I have no idea what just happened, man. But thank you for the uh, $20 contribution. Um, I guess I could do a, try to do a fake contribution so it would fall in the jar, at least to, uh, right? Uh, let me see if it, if it works. I hope so. I'll do that for you, okay? And I'll just make it, I'll just do a fake tip because I just got a $20 contribution, y'all, all right? So I'm going to do something real quick. Okay, this one's for you, buddy, all right? There you go. There you go. 
That that's for you, dude. So it's in the jar. Thank you, man. Thank you for the twenty dollar contribution, dude. All right. Singer tip twenty dollars. Do not fear a man that spams one thousand memes. Instead, fear a man that spams a meme one thousand times. Thanks, man. I'm sorry, I just, you couldn't take partake in the TTS, man. But that was, you know, to make up for it. <laughs> so my boat plans. I should install poles. How do you? How does one? One does not simply install poles, as Boromir would say. I think. Would you use this or uh, this one right here? Okay, all right. So I'm talking to Larley. He did this. I love this. Looks really good too, right? In the shorter term, man, right? But yeah, uh, he just used this touch point up here. I disregarded the crazy. I mean, a lot of respect in the 25. I, I hate how, like, you know, you don't get anything, like, in the shorter term, right, with this. That's, like, the only thing that sucks about it. So what did you think about the, uh, the shorter term uh, little trend, though? It lined up so perfect, didn't it? So, yeah, you took touch point one and two and three and four-ish. I'm good at daily. Again. You could probably have both, right? You could probably just do both. Um, it would just be like, it would freak people out, you know, that uh, on stream, I guess, using that one. Hold on, the heck? I thought we had to tip in Streamlabs. Sorry, it's my first time tipping. Liar! I must have gotten confused with the other YouTuber I tip all the time. Why? <laughs> Capus. Get wrecked, Mr. Yeti, dude. Dude, thanks so much uh, for that. Uh, 555, repeating course, Leroy Jenkins, man. Leroy Jenkins. I'm having trouble getting mine to line up perfectly. I know I get one and two and three, but then it kind of comes out. It's not perfect. Yeah, man, we're very close to a breakout. Okay, I know. I think you have this here, but you get it makes more sense to have uh, the most touch points, right? So one and two. You can see a wick. There's an actual wick right here. You can't really see it on your screen. And then three, and then four, and then possibly breaking out. All right, very very soon. Trying to anyway, and look at the volume starting to pick up a little bit. You can barely see it. The volume's kind of there, uh, pivoting, double bottoming on the four hour for sure, and you're showing on the daily bullish divergence. Okay, yeah, man. I mean, so you're getting some really nice looking stuff on Zcash, Andy. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. And in the shorter term, you can you have it. You do have it from a low to a lower low. Higher levels are real to strength. And look at how we busted the upside. We got 60 now. We're hitting that hot level on the RSI. All right. Spending a lot of time on Zcash doing things. All right. Huh. Interesting. The US dollar. The Japanese yen. I know we have something else too. Hold on a sec. Give me a sec. Alright. 
Let's do it like this, okay. It's a lot better like this. You had a breakout, right? And now, since you had a breakout, you could easily just do something similar like this, right? So I just went one and two and three on the upside. A beautiful support there. Not much respect on the part line, though, at all. But this is like to say, hey, if we broke out of a downtrend and now we're outside of it, okay? Give me a sec. I gotta get rid of this. Right. We're out. We broke out, okay? So now you've got this this new trend, this upsloping trend. The Japanese yen, all right. You know, we could zoom out. Um, you know what? The weekly real quick. Let's see if there's anything we can do about this. Hold on a sec. Just give me a second, okay? Okay. Man, it's like we fell out, right? It's like you're getting back in. But could you make an adjustment here? No? Coraline's not really well respected. I mean, it is in a way. Uh, you're holding support too, but I don't know, man. Not really lining up that well. But the main thing I think you should take from this is, uh, I mean, this goes all the way back to the October of 2012, man. All right, you've been in an uptrend, it seems, since then. Okay, but overall, downtrend, and you broke out of a downtrend, right? And you know, you came up and you pretty much double topped, and you've been in this. Uh, look, man, it, I think it might be a little too choppy for a cup and handle or some cup with handle, but either way, man, I think you are in a clear uptrend right now, and you've been in one for quite some time. I think you had a false breakout of a you know, a trend. Look, it was like this before you know, March. Kind of like that and now we fell out and we're back inside of it so you know then you'd say okay so it was a false breakout some some kind so you do it like that and i really think that uh sure you can have it like this but man it it makes a lot of sense having it like this okay yeah okay so you're out of it and uh you're just back testing now right the heck, man! This thing's comes in the way. Oh, I see what you did. You're using the uh, top trend lines, maybe. No, you're not. You're using the uh, the bottom, just like I had it. How in the world are you out of it? Like for me, it's like we're back in it. But I'm looking at the weekly. That's so weird, man. Are you looking at log scale or something like that? Because look, it's like one and two perfect touch points, right? And like you fell out and you're like kind of back in it now. That makes no sense. Okay, well, if that's the case, like on just a standard, I mean, using auto, if I use log. Oh, log, though, look at log, I'm out. I'm out of it. And in log, it's per look at how good it is in log. One and two and three and four and five and six. And then one and two on the top end. And look at the heart. Oh my God. The heart line respect, the heart line resistance, the 75% uh, resistance. Holy crap. 
That's it, man. Dude, that's like the, the golden ticket right there, dude. Dang, man. That's pretty and you're yeah, you're outside. You've broken out. I don't know, man. Uh, this looks like it makes the most sense. But, you know, it's interesting, even though that is the case, you did, in fact, break out of a downtrend. All right, you're barely outside of it now. That's kind of weird. All right. It's hurt my brain, man. It's hurt my brain. All right, whoever asked about the uh, US dollar or the Japanese yen. All right, so you're clear up trend and you broke out of it. Hey Mitch, how do you decide on where your fib channel starts slash finishes? What are your guidelines? So look, man, like, look, you said you had a huge downtrend. Notice how we like pivoted and we broke to the upside. And all this data we have is up sloping. You're, you're, it's relative to like, you can have uh, in a shorter time, you know, like we just, I just looked at it like this, where if you had a shorter time scale, you look at the downtrend, you can clearly see we're making higher lows. So we could obviously have a touch point one and two and then three up here, but it doesn't make much sense on the, like the way the touch points work. And you can clearly see here, man, how beautiful we respect everything. I'm talking up here, look at it as a support, support, resistance. You, you wait for like an impulse down you start making higher lows and you're clearly in an uptrend you uh you're kind of disregarding that uh impulse down and you can see clearly in the uptrend we've got it and then you can also have not only that you can also at the same time have a downtrend going on you can have uh i don't know man it's kind of complicated uh and it just takes time to get used to it and just kind of feel it out but it's all about determining your shorter and longer and more midterm trends okay that's all it's about so when was the trend established well normally the trends established when you find a, a swing low and you run up and you break to a higher low higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows and then you plot okay so the guidelines are relative to what kind of time scale I'm looking at how far I'm out I'm looking at things okay man so it's just not as simple as like uh oh well it's just a b and c okay man the sim triangle i hate the white space though that's so nasty man like there's so much white space but yeah you can see something like that But either way, you broke out, right? You broke out of the same triangle. And then we can just use the measured uh, move. You're like out. You broke out on uh, some volume. Not much. Yeah, this is what we had plotted before, but again, that white space sucks, man. You just want to go up, down, up, down. <sighs> Measure move would be stupid though. Whoa, what just happened? I don't even think anyone's watching anymore. $19. Everyone said, what are they talking about? What is this? $130 measure move. If you're trying to go, if it played out perfectly, we don't know if you'll make the measure move or not. Never a certain thing. 130 bucks could be a target, but again, you fell out of a nice channel. All right. Okay. Here, yeah, you just been like that. Then that's extremely higher, much, much higher, much, much higher. Look, man, you have your huge impulse up and then you have your pause in your trend, price contraction, and now you're outside of it bullishly. Okay. And we could probably just do fib extensions if uh, we were to get targets. I mean, look, we just fib it like this, man. Now, swing high to swing low. How far will we retrace at this point? We're at the 50% retrace. 
50 freaking percent retrace at this current time, which is a common retrace after an impulse down, which was this. This was the impulse down, all right? Thanks so much for the uh, 209 people still tuned in. Oh, I thought I would, there were zero people, all right? I didn't know. I'm sorry. What happened, Basanga, man? Sorry, man. I'm really behind it. Holy crap, dude. Absolutely on, dude. Alright, I've been live for an hour and 51 minutes now, alright? Hit that like button, that bell, that sub if you're enjoying it, alright, man? Okay. Oh yeah, we did silver like a few days ago, right? Yes, we did in cash. Yes. We did it for you, man. All right? Did it for you. <sighs> oh my god, Carvana, dude. What a crazy chart. Whoa, it's off so bad. I think it got screwed up because of a uh, you know, what's it called? Log scale? Hold on. That's not it. I don't know how it happened. It just did. It just screwed up. Don't worry about it. Whoa, very nice pivot point. Uh, we, we looked at uh, a swing low to swing high retrace uh, between that 3 at 2 and 50%. Remember your common retrace zone? It's going to put you. Uh, between $60 and $52 could easily go lower than that. Um, so yeah, man. Nice little velocity trend going on. Probably make one more mm, touch point. I don't know. I just like the way this looks. This is like how you should probably look at it. You got multiple touch points on both sides. Look at the beautiful amount of heart line support you're getting. And you're getting resistance. So uh, I think this is just the, the best way to probably interpret this on Carvana. So... If you're in an uptrend, you're truly going to stay in that uptrend. These are the areas. These are the pivot points where you bounce the upside. So at a, at a common, you're within the retrace zone. That's it. Dude. Barley, yeah, right, man. I looked at Carvana. It's a joke, dude. It's such a racket. They're so expensive. There's no deals. It's like... How's it gonna work, man? Like, I used cars through Carvana? Like, what's the point? Like, cause they're not cheap. They're like, there's no deals at all. You can't have deals with public traded companies. I'm sorry. You're not gonna save money when they've got earning reports every quarter. It's just not gonna work, I don't think. It's a joke, man. It's a joke. Absolutely, MK man. Jeez, man. All right. my god so many s coins y'all want i've done so many s coins already today no one's like hey can you do amazon or can you do nvidia or activision blizzard nah let's look at god aeon y'all are killing me No, they make the money from the drugs in the cars. No, that's Tesla. I believe you're mistaken, LP. That's Tesla. They have free bags of weed included in the deals now. Oh. Daily Crypto Report. Everything's getting ruined, man. Oh. I can barely move, man, today. I'm, like, struggling so bad. So, um, almost to 1.9. I can't believe it, man. Like, I got, like, no new subs today. I can't believe it, dude, Mark. We started I started the show at 1888. We got 1894 subs. Some days it's just not good for subs, right? 2000 subs, drunken viking night, all right? So uh All good then, man. All freaking good. 
Bet on back to Big Con real quick. It was so crazy though, the uh, the Ripple Day, like the Social Blade said we gained 187 subs in a day. <laughs> Insanity, man. Just because of one pump. One pump! Well, it was two pumps. But, you know, whatever. Alright, so uh, with Bitcoin, I think very well it could draw. Uh, there's good touch points on it one and two and three you're gonna have an upsloping trend line i believe even if you break to the upside you will face some sort of resistance on the way up i don't care like whether it's there valid or not uh it sure as heck includes more of the chop right where you have the bear flag still there you're back within the parameters of it it seems like you're probably just uh is that a joint could we look at bqx slash btc please ma thank you Yeah, it's Xamarin, man. Thanks so much for the 420 contribution. Jeez, man. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. We'll look at it right after this. Like, if you had that uh, flag. Yep, yeah, it's like, you see what you're doing? Judgment 1 and 2 for the flag. You're back in it. Now you're back testing it, giving validity at, to it as a resistance point when it was a one time support. And eh, that's not good. That's not a good thing at all on scrubby, scrubby volume. But you just gotta raise your eyebrow to the impulse up and the downslipping consolidation, which is always a good sign, all right? It's always good, healthy looking consolidation that you wanna see. And we know from the swing low to swing high, we haven't, dude, we haven't even hit the 382 yet, man. So you're, you're not even at common retrace uh, points yet from the low to high. So you could go lower and it really wouldn't be that big a deal, but you don't want to because you've got overhead resistance, right? You've got that uh, 6555 to 6587 area, that zone, between the candle body closes and the wicks that you just don't want to go below. If you do, you're in a lot of trouble, probably. All right. What's up, Isra? Good to see you, man. You keep hitting like, but it doesn't go any higher. <sighs> Donna Kelly, well, thanks for all your uh, efforts. All right, man. Just need a few more ripple pumps for 10,000 subs, Sir Odin's. Yeah, uh, let's do it, man. Lee Roy Jenkins, all right. Reddit says Civic's about to get pumped. Oh man, well then all in, dude. All freaking in on that one. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. It's time for your local on the eights. To Big Ken, and we're at Big Ken. Nice, we did it, man. Can I do MJ? Well, look, man, I was thinking about getting out of here after doing BQX for uh, Come On England. I mean, you know, because we're obviously not hitting. Well, I'm not going to be chugging a beer, taking a shot, because we're not filling the jar. And uh, I've been live for two hours, right? And uh, it's Monday, and it's raining outside. Okay. And we covered a lot today. We, we how much did we cover today? We covered a lot. One, two. Like 19 plus analysis, right? Something like that. I mean, that's a very formidable number for a Monday stream, day stream, all right? All right, man. Anyway, let me just go to, uh, let me rechart this BQX crap. I'm gonna redo all this crap, right, man? It's all terrible. I hate, dude. It's the fat finger, the volatility, the wicks, man. Give me a break. All right.
so crazy. This playlist reminds me of uh, springtime. It reminds, it reminds me just a long time ago. The streaming, man. The old playlist, dude. The old, old playlist. All right, so. I don't know if this is perfect, man. Like, I don't even think going to the top, though, even makes sense, right? Like this. I don't think that makes... Uh... Actually, that could make some sense, yeah. Right? One, two, three, one. Then you got the 75% trend line. Rather fight 20 duck sized horses or one horse sized duck? Probably one horse sized duck. Yeah, I'll just deal with one horse sized duck, alright? <laughs> great, great duck uh, question, man. Chat, what do y'all think? Like, what would you do? Would you go with the former or the latter? Holy crap. Betty Davis size, oh yeah. I thought it was Betty White size, Danny man. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Unbelievable kind of question though. Love it. Love it, man. Okay, and you know. Too wide, man. Even if you did anything, you broke. Hey, uh, Matt, Mark, sorry, Mr. Holden. Thanks for the uh, so on YouTube, the Jesus man. All right. Let's try some fib extensions out real quick. All right. This is just so blah, man. So the fib extensions, man. You're like below the one six one eight. I don't even know what you're holding right now. You're making like all time lows. God. This is trash, dude. This is trash. I don't like uh, Essex Hammer. What's the uh, reason behind why you like this, or like why did you request this particular coin? Now, I mean, I get it. You're showing um, bullish divergence, yeah, on the four hour. You're making higher lows now. You're just like a like huge impulse down, exhaustion flags forming. I can see that, and then one can say, hey man, it's still it's a wedge actually, man. It's a wedge. Is it a wedge, man? Because that's kind of crappy wedge. I guess we look at it like that, that's fine. Whatever, we look at it like a falling wedge after a huge break to the downside, right? Okay. Yeah, maybe, uh, look, wait. we've seen Bitcoin do the same thing, huge run up and then just a uh, wedge and it breaks the upside, but. Uh, If you got the divergence and the wedge, maybe you break the upside, you're making a higher low than previously, that's always a good sign. Uh, you could expect maybe a price to run to 200 MA, maybe run up to 610, uh, excuse me, 6,010 or 5875 to 1618. I don't know, man, you fell below a very critical FIB extension level, all right? You came actually up and back tested it and broke down again. I don't, dude, I just, there's just better stuff out there than this kind of stuff. 
So extremely bearish um, all the way since, yeah, January, all right? Ever since then, you've been making lower highs, lower lows, really bad. And now you're forming some sort of wedge that could easily just break down and scrub out, right? Not very, very well, might not be reliable at all, right? So. <sighs> 20 duck size horses, Christopher says. Everyone wants the 20 duck horses. He'll punt all of them. <laughs> Ducks are crazy. You don't want to deal with a 2,000 pound duck. I guess that's true, Prodigal Taurus. Maybe I'm, I screwed up. I'm just thinking about, I'm a human, so I can use weapons, right? Red X also, everyone wants the 20. I'm the only one that wants the one. I would like to barbecue a, barbecue a horse sized duck. That would be insane, Mr. Khan. Oh my God. Bitcoin dropping. Yeah, we rejected. Dude, we rejected the 200 MA, rejected the heart line of that little flag channel thing we're in, all right? Someone you know believes BQX is going to pop. Well, you got bullish divergence and a miniature wedge, so maybe, but maybe not much. But hey, if it does, that's great, man. That's great. You fell below critical support from December. Okay, you're below December levels. That's all time lows. So... What's up, Pepper Rock? What's up, R Man? Thanks for being here. Thanks for the 191 still tuned in. Uh, what's the wingspan around 2,000 pound duck? Dude, I don't know, man. That sounds. I feel I instantly regret that uh, horse duck answer. But I would I wouldn't want to see the problem is I would not want to fight 20 duck size horses because they'd be too cute man I'd like want to take them in and breed them and then sell them and make millions of dollars okay you understand horses that are this size people would pay millions for you understand and they're very cute they am sure they're very cute all right so that's my problem that's why I didn't want to do the 20 you know whatever okay you get what I'm saying Interesting enough, right? Okay, so I've been live for uh, two hours and eight minutes now. I really do appreciate uh, all the new subs, all 80 y'all, and uh, really appreciate the contributions and all the chat engagement, all the likes. Does the answer change if you swap the duck out for a goose? Dude, those things are nasty, man. Yeah, because a goose would be really easy to cut its head off, right? Just one time. Whoosh. I guess ducks are the same, same way. I don't know, man. But geese are like the same size as ducks, kind of. Ducks are smaller, so that means that'd be fighting larger horses the horses would be larger right in that regard so I'd still be stuck with cute little small horses that I'd like to breed and then you know make make money off of right and also have some as pets okay okay well then prodigal Taurus do the math okay geese are mean yeah I don't wouldn't want to deal with it Fight doesn't mean kill, so dark. Hey, what if it tries to kill me though? It's an animal. It might try to destroy me. Okay. Thanks, Danny, man. It's not so dark, man. One enemy is almost always better than multiple. There you go. Seriously. And yeah, you can clearly see Bitcoin's breaking down 65.55. There's that area that we just talked about. We literally just said that literal price to the dollar amount before we came over to Beach Body Tan Coin or whatever it is, right? Ooh. 65.55 on the dot. Look left. Candle body close. Overhead resistance in the past. Now, underhead support. There it is, Bitcoin, big bearish engulfing candle. 48 minutes left on the daily. Not good when you get this kind of price action toward the end of the day. Not good, all right? I fell below the uh, 382. 
from the swing low to swing high up here. <laughs> All right, some people will be like, man, what about this wick The that volatility, man? If you look at the, if you use this volatility wick right here, you're at the 382 perfectly. That's it. So you've just now approached a common retrace zone from a swing low to swing high. Nothing weird about it. Don't be freaked out. But you really don't want to fall below 65.55. All right, you don't want to. We'll see how well this holds. Setting up alerts. All right, if I hear the beep, I'll let you know in uh, Discord. Remember, if you want to keep the conversation going, if you want to keep on knowing what's going on when I'm not live, Head on over to our Discord. The uh, description is the link. The link is in the description below, as well as us posting that all the time. All right. We'll see, Kravicky, man. I'll believe it when I see it. All right. Exposed. Don't be gross, man. We have a 2,800 foot wingspan duck. That's six football fields. What? <laughs> Just fight my. <laughs> Bite my head right off. Oh my god, dude. I don't I don't think so, man. Hey G Mon. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. And gosh, I couldn't even see who else subbed. But thank you too, man. We are three subs away from 1900. Can you believe it? Oh my god. Can't believe it, man. Can't believe it. What's up, Chase V man? People are scared. People say, oh, oh, Monkey S, man. Monkey S. Ripple. I bought it 70 cents. Now what? Oh, we're just breaking on down to the measured move, most likely. I told y'all. We talked about the rejection we were getting at the 50% retrace. We said this at the beginning of the show. You know that. So here we are, engulfing to the downside. See at 45.8 cents. Can't hold 45.8 cents. We'll see at the measured move at the 50 MA. Measured move of this pennant that we barely broke out of. Inverse Kangs. All right, that's it. It's floating, it's fluttering around like a duck horse. Stop giving me nightmares, man. Unless it's a horse duck, and then it'd be really, really cute. Okay. <sighs> Weekend 2K party. Yeah, can we get 100 subs in a week? My God, I hope so. If not, we're doing something wrong. Okay. Uh, the average, my social blade average right now for subs per day is... Let me uh, see the update on the day. Social Blade update is 48 subs a day. Wow, uh, not looking good today. Today I'm sitting at like uh, nine subs on the day. So way under average for this Monday. Holy crap, dude. Jeez, all right. I only have myself to blame for this market dropping. I, I thought pe people would be interested to know that the market's dropping, but uh, I guess people were happy with their gains and they got out for the winter. All right. Sweet, man. Oh, there you go. Whew. 33 cents. Jeez, man. That's so far away. Marley, I don't even want to scare people. Let's try to get the short-term targets. Maybe we'll, you know we come back. And that's why I, I try to stream twice a day, so we don't have to scare people. So we can just do one target at a time, one target at a time, All right? So I think the first target's forty-five point eight cents. Second target's forty-two cents. Can't hold that. See at thirty-six. Can't hold that. Thirty-three cents. All right. Okay. Sweet man. What happened to my music, man? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you're doing, dude. Yeah, 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 I got you. You got it like this, man. Uh, yeah, I know I had this kind of like that before. Wait. Oh, are you doing it differently? Oh, uh, what? Why is the wick different? Why is your wick different than mine? Okay, I'm looking at it on Binance, so it makes mine like mine's like a higher wick, so it screws the angle up. See what I'm saying? So it's like that. 
So mine looks like that on Binance. Interesting. Very weird. Okay. Comparing wicks. Oh yeah, comparing wicks, man. Ah. Oh, it feels so good. I'll I'll leave y'all that one. All right. So, again, I think we had a really really nice show. Two hours and sixteen minutes. I'll be back tonight. Look, I'll be back in like less than four hours. Okay. So just you'll be okay, and I'll be in Discord. All right. And let's continue the discussion over there with charts, memes, laughs, and cries. All right. So, I'll be back for episode 124 this evening. So, until then, respect the T. Hey. Rest in peace, it's good tonight, we take it slow. Oh my God, I just can feel the love. Jumped out with the wind and the sun. Jump inside, I want you roll with us. Make the devil bite the hand and you sense. Shut up, shut up, Rest in peace, it's good tonight, we take it slow. Yeah. I just took a fold to the head like man. Drop the top on the slab like man. Off the top of the dome like man. Nothing beating home like man. In a screw tape zone like man. I go Pepsi on the phone like man. Just say platinum, don't do chrome like man. Had the south side fade, now let the braids hang. You see smooth like man. Rest in peace, screw like man. Rest in peace is good tonight, we take it slow. Oh my God, I just can feel the love. Dropped out with the wind. Or really expound into a national sound because throughout the South, and it's new.